So the dog presents with uh, uh, diarrhea, often with weight loss, sometimes with pancreatitis, and uh, with a variable uh, presentation of severity and frequency and sometimes other issues associated. But we also are finding the more we look for this parasite, the more we find it in dogs that are, uh, as far as we can tell, asymptomatically, chronically infected. So this is an under-recognized parasite in many ways. When you do lab work, you may find nothing abnormal. You may find some elevated liver enzymes because of the chronic granulomatous inflammation that usually goes along with this parasite with eggs in the liver. Um, Sometimes we see hypercalcemia. And the mechanism for that has been proposed, but we're not sure why. Sometimes we see hypercalcemia and sometimes we don't. Definitive diagnosis, of course, would be finding the eggs. And this goes along with uh, if you don't use the right method, you don't find the eggs. They are trematode eggs, so they do not float when you're doing your uh, typical flotation. You need to do a centrifug- uh, I mean, a sedimentation in order to find these eggs. And here is one of the heterobelharzia eggs. Just for size proportion, here's a tricurus egg. And even more complicating in making the diagnosis, the egg has a little larval stage called a myricidium inside. And remember, this is a water-associated parasite, so the myricidium likes to hatch out when that fecal material and the egg get into water. So if you're trying to do a sedimentation technique, uh, sometimes it's problematic that your eggs will hatch and the myricidium will swim out in that fecal sedimentation and leave you with a vacated collapsed shell. So in order to try to keep those eggs from hatching while you're doing that sedimentation technique, uh, you need to use uh, physiologic saline and that salt concentration will keep that egg from hatching uh, many times. So it takes a little bit of effort to find these parasites um, microscopically. And the eggs are not shed consistently. So we typically look at three fecal samples collected on uh, different days in order to increase our chances of finding eggs in these animals with diarrhea.